The Sydney to Hobart yacht race record could tumble because of a favourable weather forecast. The former winner, Ludi Ingval, also unveiled his new state-of-the-art Super Maxi. But the two-time winner is talking down his chances. Ludi Ingval knows a thing or two about the Sydney to Hobart. Today, the former winner was all smiles, unveiling his revolutionary Super Maxi CQS. It's an interesting forecast, and I think uh, somebody is going to break the record. Wild Oats is the current record holder with a time of one day, 18 hours and 23 minutes, set in 2012. The long-range weather forecast for this year's race suggests it might not be in place much longer. I think it will be quite competitive because it looks like it's going to be uh, a bit from for everyone at some stage, so obviously boats are quite different. The forecast is for, for a, a decent chunk of breeze to be around. It's, it's a long way up. Let's wait and see what materialises. But we've seen before, even if the forecast is relatively benign, get prepared for the unexpected. Ingval's 100-footer looms as a line on his contender. Despite limited sailing time, CQS has a state-of-the-art foil system that could provide a critical downwind advantage. They look like an aircraft wing, they are an aircraft wing, they're working in a very heavy, more dense medium than, than, than air, and the lift is quite something. With the race record under threat this year, the biggest challenge for the Super Maxis is simply not to break anything. They're likely to be sailing south, reaching speeds in excess of 30 knots for the first half of the race. There are four Super Maxis, we're one of those and everybody has a chance. A modest response from a man who knows how to weather expectations. Patrick Galloway, ABC News, Sydney.